What's up guys, welcome back to Black Star Anime, the anime community's voice of reason. I'm Cody. And I'm Manny. And you're watching Let's Talk Anime. In this episode of Let's Talk Anime, we're going to be looking at the top 13 anime series we're looking forward to for the winter 2017 season. Let's do it. The first anime in this list is going to be Aka, 13 Ku Kanasatsu Ka. Yeah. So we can just call it Aka for short, I guess. This looks pretty dope. Yeah, this had me as soon as Madhouse came on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, immediately you see Studio Madhouse and we're like, yeah, we're immediately watching this. But we're going to watch the crap out of this. This looks great. Yeah. The character designs look great. Mm -hmm. We have the scene in Gritty Adult Feel. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, the, there's so many yeses to this show. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm so sold I want to watch this. Yeah, and a lot of the creative people behind this, um, we're looking at like the director from One Punch Man, who also co-directed on Space Dandy. So, I mean, we have a very, very great list of just, you know, people working on this show. And it just looks interesting. It looks captivating. Mm -hmm. I mean... I'm very excited to see what this show brings me. Yep. I'm very excited. I want to watch the crap out of this. <laughs> Next one up, we have Akiba's Trip. I'm curious if it's a play on words mm -hmm. for Akiba's Strip, because you see people taking off their clothes <laughs> in the trailer. Clothes. We'll see. I um, mean, it is based off a of video game, so I mean, who, who video games are weird over there. It's very possible. Yeah. Um, I am intrigued. Mm -hmm. I like the character designs. Um, I like that I, I kind of like that I don't know what I'm getting to get out of this. Yeah. yeah I didn't play a video game, so I'm not really sure what they're going off of this, but it's, it's edgy, obviously, the initial tag, um, Supernatural, mm -hmm. so that looks interesting. It looks like they have a couple vampires and, and maybe some other ghouls we'll in there, some, but... We see some action elements in the trailer. Yeah, we do see some so. action elements, but then it's like, are they just going to be, like, edgy super nerdy vampires because they're going to Akihabara to shop and do other stuff like it's possible I want to see the the character dynamic and see what they're actually going there for I think that's what intrigues me the most is that I, I don't know what I'm gonna get yeah that's out of this crazy mash that they're putting together yeah it might just be weird it could just be really really <laughs> weird we'll find out so next we have interviews with monster girls surprisingly I'm actually pretty intrigued by this <laughs> <laughs> so you have a main character who's just super into into like demi humans and monsters and yeah. um, he he's he's just in, I don't I don't want to use the word infatuated but he's super into it yeah and he becomes a teacher at a school for demi or demi and monster girls <laughs> but the issue is like we have a vampire we have a succubus there's they, a snow woman there's a snow woman <laughs> and it's like you have these demi human girls but. The premise of the show is them dealing with standard, normal, everyday yeah. high school life issues. It's, it's, you know what? There's a scene in tag on there, so I think we're gonna have some heartfelt moments too. Yeah, probably. Where you know, where even though they're demi humans, it's mm -hmm. very relatable to what we go through. But mm -hmm. of course, you'll get that slice of life comedy feel too. I don't know. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, it looks interesting. Yeah. So next on the list, we have Fuka. Um. Initially, what intrigued me in this is the, the art style. Like, it has... Yeah. This is I one know. of my favorite art styles, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult to explain. It's not ridiculously shown in anime, but mm -hmm. it's not that shoujo hard. And it's not seen in either. It's somewhere in the middle of all three of those. Yeah, I agree. And I like it a lot. Um, I want to see where they go with this. Mm -hmm. I do have some strong tsundere feels that I think I'm not going to like. Yeah. And it's a, it's a slight turn off. I'm hoping it's not annoying. And we get to know some of the other girls. Yeah. We'll see. It, it looks like there's a couple of things going on. I mean, A, the overall premise isn't too original in itself where you have a transfer student who's a guy in a new town or new city and he doesn't really know anyone. Um, I thought it was interesting that the weird girl in the show just based off the initial synopsis is weird because she doesn't have a cell phone <laughs> and it's like well i guess basing off today's society and yeah, culture, that is weird right? that is weird you don't if you phone. go up to girls like hey what's your name what's your email i don't have a phone you're weird <laughs> so but then at the same time the, the the overall issue it seems like there's just like 
people that are attracted to her. I'm not sure which attraction they're going to go with. Um, so people just drawn to this girl who doesn't have a cell phone. I, I don't know. <laughs> is this a harem? Is this not a harem? It's just like, is this a slice of life? I don't yeah. know what it's going to be. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So next one up is Gabriel Dropout. Yeah. This looks funny. This this looks great. I remember first reading the synopsis. I was like, I'm going to watch the crap out of this. I hadn't even seen the trailer. Though. Yeah. I'm going to watch the crap out of this. So we have the angel Gabriel who graduated top of her class and is sent down to Earth to learn more about humans and earthly things. And, and lead them to righteousness. Yes. And she gets addicted to video games. <laughs> and it's great. You know, I, I want to watch it. That's society in a nutshell. Yeah. Like, yo, this game's awesome. That's all yep, I'm here to lead you to salvation. What's that? What's that? What's that? That looks great. <laughs> like, <laughs> does she go, like, full neat shut-in? Like, I don't know. I want to see what happens. I got to watch this. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to have uh, some a lot of funny moments. It looks like there's going to be some other characters, you know, from her mm -hmm. world. Some uh, other Interacting angels. and be like, what are you doing? You know, I'm playing this video game. Play <laughs> with me. I don't know. I mean, I just want to see that in general. Yeah. It I, looks super fun. I gotta see that. So we have Grand Blue Fantasy. Yeah. It looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. But for the most part, I'm getting like uh, a, a more fantasy ish SAO slash Tales X vibe from the trailer mm -hmm. of this show. So I'm interested to see, you know, how it goes. I'm okay with the character designs, which You're is always cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I literally just want to see how it goes. I'm never hesitant anymore to see anime based off not either an original work or a manga ever since we saw Bahamut, which is literally based off what, like a, like a card, card game? game? It was yeah. a cell phone card game. Yeah. I was like, really? And this is based off like a mobile game also. I'm yeah. like, as soon as I see that, I'm like, you can't write it off because this might be a super dope sleeper fantasy you just had Bahamut. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how this one goes. I'm super excited. The action looks cool. The characters look cool. Mm -hmm. It's a cool looking fantasy world. Mm -hmm. You got me. All right. So next we have Handshakers. Mm -hmm. I got super excited when I saw Studio Go Hands was making this because they did K. And anybody who's watched K knows this is the fights in there are amazing. Like they're just top notch. You pointed it out. You get to see the background moving with the characters. It's not swoosh lines. Yeah, it's not swoosh lines during the fights. <laughs> it was pretty hard, too, because it's like you watch K and you're like, I, I wasn't fully into the character designs or, you know, deeply invested in the premise of the world. But it can be argued those were some of the best fight scenes in anime yeah. that I've seen since like, yeah. Fate's Day. Yeah. It's like, crazy. Go hands. They they go ham on on the fights. Yeah. So I'm not in love with this art style. I'm mm. re I'm really not. I'm actually a little slightly turned off by it. Okay. But knowing that it's in the hands of Studio Go Hands and what they're capable of, I really want to watch this. True. Um, the premise has me. Your partners, you summon stuff, and you guys fight other partners. Cool. Mm. It escalates really quickly when they're gonna go fight God, but. Well, it sounds like in order to even get to the level to fight God, they have to defeat the other partner teams. Yeah. So we have like a battle royale type thing, which it's going to lead to some fight scenes. So, hey. And that's what they're good at. I'm for it. Oh, this trailer is so great. I'm for it. I want to watch the crap out of this. Stop it. Stop watching it. <laughs> Stop. They fucking going ham, dude. So next up is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yo, this is one of the coolest dragons I've seen in anime. Yeah, so it's like a full-fledged, big-ass dragon that can transform into a human maid. Yeah. Minus the horn and tails. <laughs> it, it just sounds hilarious. It sounds ridiculous because now it's... Okay, so A, the girl is just a normal girl. Saves a dragon from a fire, <laughs> which I was like, really? <laughs> and then the dragon's so grateful, she's like, I will do anything you want. I'm your maid now. Poof, I'm in a maid outfit. I'm like, really? <laughs> but then I was like, yo, is she riding the dragon to work? I'm going to wash the crap out of this. <laughs> Just because it's so ridiculous. Yep, the dragon looks cool. Honestly, it looks like it's going to be pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I got to give this a go. Masamune Kun's Revenge. Yeah. This sounds hilarious. This sounds like it's going to be pretty great. Mm -hmm. 
you got an ex-fat kid who essentially gets teased all his life. Yeah. And uh, pretty much just decides to turn his whole life around. Mm -hmm. He reinvents himself. He goes through, you know, all kinds of uh, uh, self-confidence building and losing mm -hmm. weight. He becomes handsome, good mm -hmm. at great grades, mm -hmm. good at sports. He's yeah. like the man. Yeah, he becomes a 10 out of 10 guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the dude. But it's all to get revenge on the girl. <laughs> who always who, made fun of him. Yeah, who always made fun of him when he was fat. Oh, and I'm like, man. A, I already know she's going to be like, who are you? Yeah. He's going to be like, oh. You know? So, I mean, I see the slice of life tag, and I want to see how this progresses. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to have a lot of comedic moments, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too predictable where it's like he learns the life lesson of revenge, you know, doesn't work out and then yeah. or whatever and yada yada. So there's, we'll see how it goes. There's also a romance tag and I'm hoping there's less predictability that he falls for her. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it doesn't go there. We'll see. I feel like it would be more predictable if he's trying to get with her. She doesn't want to get with him. And then there's another girl who liked him even when he was fat trying to get with him. If they don't do that, I'll be impressed. We'll see how it goes. So next we have Onihe. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This looks dope. We got Feudal Japan era setting. We pretty much have a badass dude who's just dishing out justice on wrongdoers and, and just other criminals Yo, during this period. He's a Feudal Japan Batman. He's Feudal Japan Batman. I want to watch the shit out of this so bad. Yeah. It is so refreshing. I, I will say this, though. I feel like if there are too many shows with the Feudal Japan setting and, like, a more serious tone every season, it, it, it's not going to be, like, as refreshing when we finally do get one. But I do appreciate whenever I get shows like this. Yeah. Because I don't see it often enough. And, I mean, these aren't for everyone either. They're yeah. not. But I think this one might be. This is going to be dope. Oh, it's going to be super dope. I'm very excited. Yeah. So here we have Scoom Switch. Yeah. This looks interesting because what happens when everyone thinks you're the perfect couple and you know you're not the perfect couple, <laughs> but no one else knows you're not the perfect couple? This is going to have so much drama and I love it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that because they honestly they don't do that a lot mm -hmm. like they show in anime for romances they show them getting together and then sometimes they show them falling apart mm -hmm. that's even a little rare they never show the consequences and the trials in the middle yeah like actually being in a relationship actually being in a relationship <laughs> yeah, you don't so see that often i want to i want to check that out i want to see how they do it it looks cool all right so next we have said Again, I'm drawn in by the art style. Yeah. I really like this art style. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, different <laughs> art styles are going to appeal to different people. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is going to be a sleeper like we talked about. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I feel like a lot of people are going to write this show off like, oh, it's just another romance, school life, drama thing. And I'm one of those people that usually do that. <laughs> and for some reason, I just get like this sensation that this might actually be a really good show. It might be just a little bit different. Yeah, uh, I want to see where they go. I want to see the personalities of the girls. Mm -hmm. It's an original work, so I'm hoping that they're not very tropey. Because yeah. generally, when you when you get the romance stuff that's from the the manga or something else, mm -hmm. they're like standard tropes. Yeah, he she's the tsundere, she's the kudere, and mm -hmm. they do the, all, all of them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. They look these girls look a little bit different. So I'm curious to see how they work it out. Let's and see. also see what the main character looks like. Yeah, right? let's see what his attitude is. Is like. he more the main character or is there going to be four main characters? Oh. I mean, I'm always for that. Yeah. Last on the list, we have Yojo Senki. Yeah. I really, really want to watch this. It, it throws me off because from the trailer, I'm like, yo, this is going to be some intense military, awesome action shit. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, they're flying. <laughs> Okay, so we got some fantasy magic going on. All right. Now you read the synopsis. It's like, yeah, no, I mean, the main character was like a, a normal adult and pissed off the wrong god and was brought back or changed or whatever in the form of a little girl. Okay. It's out there, mm -hmm. but in a good way. Yeah. Uh, this looks so good. She's a super sniper. Yeah. That is freaking <laughs> awesome. I want to watch the crap out of this. 
is. Yeah. I want I want to see everything that's going on. The animation's great. Oh, yes, just everything, yes. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for the top 13 winter 2017 anime that we're looking forward to watch. Go ahead and give us a like if you liked the video. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what are you looking forward to most for the winter season. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It helps out the show and you get updates for all of our videos. And of course, share this out with your friends so they can see all the winter shows that they should be looking forward to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Let's Talk Anime. Japan and get faded. I'm sake bonds drinking till I can't feel my hands. I'ma spend a few nights and see a few sights. I don't really think you understand. I'ma try to buy six new mobile suit kits. I'm a really big Gundam fan.